why do you guys inject the function for creating the stub repo items? Let's have a look at the tests. Is it for asserting the page? One of the reasons, yes, asserting the page, but just because it's more open, we can use this tab later on for, as we did here. When the page is one, I want something to happen. When page is two, I want something else to happen. Mm -hmm. So it, it gives us more flexibility. If we were injecting the value upfront, it would be only that value, always. But there are other ways we can do this. It could be an array of results as well, or it could be a dictionary int the result. And then we inject already all the results. So every time the result is one, you will have a result. When the page is one, you will have this result. When the page is two, you will have another result. This can be done as well. So this will be repos page number. That's another way of doing it. Either using closures or a static collection or dictionary of values. But now we need to deal with optionals. And then what should happen if this doesn't exist? Throw. Complete with failure. What should happen? Yeah. Don't be afraid of it, you know? Like, it seems... Give it a go. It seems daunting. <laughs> but don't be afraid of the closer approach. And if that's the case for everything, I'm not saying it is, but overall, you know? 